pagtulog sa simula sa langit ng buka, may ginagam tula at awa sa paglaya ni Namaha. Ang kisag ng wataw at buhay tanong, may lalang may lili, pangitubin at araw ng kailan pa may magbibili. Ako ay Pilipino. Buong katapatang nanunumpa sa wakawat ng Pilipinas at sa pansang kanyang sinasagisa na may dangal, katarungan at kalayaan na pinakikilos ng sambayanang makadiyos, makatao, makakalikasan at makapansa. Good morning, Pangkat Pibao! Welcome to the celebration of the 75th anniversary of the Philippine Veterans Affairs Office. I am Nico Oredo. And I am Felice Lloris Lania. We are your hosts for today. Now, this may come as a surprise to the most of you as we have just celebrated our 48th anniversary last year. But yes, you have heard it right. This year marks our 75th anniversary. Just recently, our agency's Veterans Memorial and Historical Division conducted a study to revisit the long history of PIVA to determine the most appropriate date for its Foundation Day as the current anniversary date made the agency seemingly younger than the other bureaus or agencies under the Department of National Defense. It is then concluded that the 18th day of October 1946 is the most appropriate date which the PIVA anniversary should be traced and observed as such. That is why today's celebration is a more meaningful and historical one. So to formally welcome us today, let us call on our Deputy Administrator, Assistant Secretary Raul Z. Caballes to give his opening remarks. To our guests of honor, the Secretary of National Defense, Delphine and Lorenzana. To our Administrator, Philippine Veterans Affairs Office, under Secretary Ernesto G. Carolina. To our distinguished guests, and to those who are with us today, veterans, fellow workers in government, friends, ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant day to everyone. It is my pleasure and privilege to welcome all of you on this very momentous and auspicious day 
as we celebrate the 75th PBAW anniversary. The agency traces its beginning in the passage of Republic Act No. 65 on October 18, 1946, the law otherwise known as the Veteran Bills of Rights. From then on and up to this time, is a testament of PBAW's long, arduous journey of transforming from a mere pension administering office to an institution that ensures the welfare and well-being of the veterans and perpetuates the memory of their heroic deeds. More than just a mere number, 75 long years is an accumulation of efforts rendered by every Pankat Pibaw who has come before us and those of you who are presently here. Hence, I would also like to take this opportunity to express my sincerest gratitude to our Pankat Pibaw. Each and every one of you have greatly contributed in bringing the agency to where it is now. Your passion for service and immense sense of duty allowed the office to achieve greater milestone over the years. As we continue to face our current health situation head on, may our anniversary theme, Servisyong Mahasahan at Mapagkalinga Alay sa Pagbangon Laban sa Pandemia be our rallying call. Let us continue to remind ourselves there is still much to be done. Together, let us continue to do our share of duties and responsibilities as we advance the interests of the very people we serve, our Filipino veterans. Okay. Happy anniversary, Pangkat Pibaw. And once again, we welcome you all. Maraming salamat at mabuhay tayong lahat. Thank you very much, Asset, for your warm welcome message. Now, to show the highlights of Bigo accomplishments and its long history, here's an audiovisual presentation prepared by the Public Affairs Office. Let us all watch. Sa likod ng bayang pinanday ng kagitingan at kabayanihan, masisilayan natin ang muka ng mga kalalakihan at kababaihang walang alin lang ang tinanggap ang tawag ng serbisyo na ipagtanggol ang bayang sinilangan. Sila ang ating mga bayani, ang ating mga veteranong nararapat lamang bigyang pugay at pasasalamat. Simula pa sa panahon ni Emilio Aguinaldo ay nagkaroon na ng pangunahing tala ng mga beteranong tatanggap ng pension bilang pagkilala sa seribisyong kanilang inilaan sa ilalim ng Philippine Revolution. Sinundan nito ng pagkilala at pagkaratipika ng Commonwealth Act No. 288 at Commonwealth Act No. 605 na siyang nagtatag ng Board of Pension for Veterans noong 1939 hanggang 1940. Sa pagtatapos ng ikalawang digmaang pantaitig noong Setyembre 1945 ay naisabatas ang Republic Act No. 65 o ang Filipino Veterans Bill of Rights na siyang nagtakda ng pagbibigay pensyon at suporta sa pinansyal, medikal at pang edukasyon na pangangailangan ng mga veterano. Ito rin ang nagbigay daan sa kapanganakan ng Philippine Veterans Board sa ilalim ng tanggulang pambansa noong ikalabing walo ng Oktubre 1946. Ang tanggapan at kanilang adhikain ay ginabayan ng mga salitang para sa mga veteranong Pilipino mula sa mga veteranong Pilipino. Dito rin sa mga salitang ito nagmula ang patnubay na sinusunod ng kasalukuyang ahensya ng Philippine Veterans Affairs Office. Ang serbisyo sa veterano, serbisyo sa bayan. 75 taon na ang nakalipas, ngunit ang pagmamahal at pangangalaga ng pivaw sa mga veterano ay nananatili pa rin tapat at buong puso. Sinubok man ang hamon ng pandemya, 
nagpapatuloy ang serbisyo ng Pivaw sa aming mga veterano. Nananatiling bukas ang ahensya upang patuloy mailarawan ang kagitingan at kabayanihan ng ating mga veterano na siyang nagsisilbing ating inspirasyon laban sa pandemya. Kaya naman, sa pagpasok ng taong 2021, pinagtibay ng Pivaw ang mandato nitong paitingin at palawakin pa ang mga benepisyong medikal at pinansyal ng mga veterano at ng kanilang mga mahal sa buhay. Una na rito ang pagpapatibay ng programang Veterans Hospitalization and Medical Care Program na sumusuporta sa pangunahing advokasya ng ahensya na no veteran shall pay for his or her own medicine. Kaakipat nito, nagtala ang pivaw ng 14,795 veteran VHMCP beneficiaries noong taong 2020. At karagdagang 4,962 naman sa unang semestre ng taong 2021. Ipad sa programa ng VHMCP, sinimulan din ng BVAO ang pangangasiwa ng vaccination sites laban sa COVID-19, kung saan itagumpay na napakunahan ang humigit kumulang na 280 na veterano at 517 dependents ito. Sa taong ding ito, muling nakapagtala ang BVAO ng Memorandum of Agreement sa pagpapatayo ng karagdagang wards sa Region 1 Medical Center, Batangas Medical Center, at sa Vicente Soto Medical Center sa Visayas. Kasunod ito ng pagpapatayo ng pilot veterans wards sa Southern Philippines Medical Center at sa Northern Mindanao Medical Center, kung saan nagilaan ang ahensya ng karagdagang 20 million pesos para sa pinakailangang hospital equipment. Ang programang ito na pinasinayahan ng Vivao at ng Veterans Memorial Medical Center ay alinsunod sa Republic Act 6948, Section 17 na naglalayong magtayo at maglaan ng Veterans Wars sa buong bansa. Napatibay naman ng Vivao ang pagproproseso ng mga pension claim benefits gamit ang mga online information advisories Pinatubuyon ng Vivao Action Center, Vivao Online Action Center, Veterans Communication Center, at ng Text Class Systems. Agaran din ang naging aksyon ng Vivao sa pagproseso ng benefit claims. Mula sa kabuang 6,625 benefit claims, kumigit kumulang na 6,509 benefit claims ang naisa proseso. Nagampanan din sa unang semestre ng taon ang pagbibigay ng 2,219 burial assistance sa mga veterano. Ito ay 44% sa inaasahang 5,000 na bilang ng burial assistance na magpaproseso sa katapusan ng taon. Lahat ng ito ay naisa katuparan sa pamamagitan ng PIVAO's Direct Remittance Pension Servicing System, kapalikat ang mga pension servicing banks at iba pang partner financial institutions. Patuloy din ang pagpapaiting ng educational benefit program para sa mga anak at apo ng mga veterano. Ngayong taon, napagkalooban ng PIVAO ang Higit kumulang na 609 scholars na makakatanggap ng libreng matrikula at stipend support. Ang bilang na ito'y 50% ng target scholars mula sa inaasahang 1,200 scholars ngayong taon. Naging mabuma din ngayong taon ang patuloy na pagdami ng mga veteranong sumali sa Veterans Federation of the Philippines. Sa unang semestre ng taong 2021, 48,000 na PIVAO Old Age Pensioners ang nakilahok sa VFP. Ito ay 35% na mas mataas kumpara sa dating rating nitong 26% noong mga nagdaang taon. 
Ang ito ay napagtagumpayan sa tulong ng maitim na komunikasyon at partnership ng Filipino Veterans Community at sa tulong din ng Pivaus Field Service Extension Offices sa buong bansa. Patuloy din kinalalawig ang House Bill 7302 na nagtatakdang pataasin ang disability pension rate ng mga veterano na kasalukuyang nasa Senado na. Naaprobahan din kamakailan ng House Committee on Higher Education and Technical Education ang House Bill 5791 na isinulat ni House Representative Roman T. Romulo. Ang House Bill na ito ay naglalayong itagdag ang pagtuturo ng World War II sa mataas na paaralan ng bansa. Inisyatiba nitong ituro sa mga kabataan ang kahalagahan ng kasaysayan, lalo na ang mga kaganapan noong ikalawang digmaang pandaigdig. Bilang pagunita sa kagitingan ng ating mga veterano, inilunsad ng PIVAW ang kagitingan at Pivaw Historical Webinar Series ngayong taon. Bilang kaakibat sa ikapitumpod siyam na anibersaryo ng Araw ng Kagitingan at ng 2021 Philippine Veterans Week. Ito ay nilahukan ng mga kabataan, veterano, estudyante, guro, at sino mang interesado sa usaping pangkasaysayan. Nailathala din ngayong taon ang tatlong librong pangkasaysayan, ang Twilight Glory, Battle of Ising, at a Quadrilogy, Filipinos and War and Peace. Formal din na isagawa noong May 19 ngayong taon ang turnover ng Balete Pass National Shrine sa Pivao. Layunin ng Pivao na mapanatili at lalo pang paumlarin ang kaayusan at kalagaya ng National Shrine. Ngayong taon, patuloy na pinasisinayanan din ang redevelopment project sa libingan ng mga bayani, katulong ang Basis Conversion and Development Authority o BCDA. Ang proyekto nito ay parte ng Kagitingan Roadmap 2028 na naglalayong pahalagahan ang ating mga bayani sa pamamagitan ng pagtatayo ng bantayog at monumentong pangkasaysayan. Ang ilan sa mga ito ay ang Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, Monument of Our Nation's Leaders, Defenders of Bataan and Corregidor, Korean War Memorial, World War II Philippine Guerrillas Pylon, Vietnam Veterans Memorial, Marawi Pylon, at ang Philippine Monument. Katulong ang Institute of Solidarity in Asia ay naisagawa naman ng PIVAO ang two-month-long strategic planning workshop mula Pebrero hanggang Marso ng kasalukuyang taon. Ito ay ginanap upang lubusang masuri ang strategy plan ng ahensya na siyang iniaayon sa tatlong pangunahing programa nito. Ang Veterans Welfare and Benefits Administrations Program, Veterans Affairs Management Program, at ang Veterans Memorial and Historical Preservation Program. Iginawad naman ng Civil Service Commission sa Pivao ang Bronze Award para sa pagpapanatili nito ng Maturity Level 2 sa CSC Prime HRM. Sa kabuuan, nakakuha ang Pivao ng 96% Customer Satisfaction Rating sa unang semestre ngayong taon na siyang naaayon sa implementasyon at kalidad ng mga serbisyong ipinagkakaloob ng ahensya sa ating mga veterano. Ilang taon ma ng lumipas, nananatiling tapat ang Philippine Veterans Affairs Office sa pagpapalawig ng mandato nitong pangalagaan at pahalagahan ang mayamang kwento ng kagitingan, katapangan at pagmamahal sa bayan ng mga veterano. Ang tungkuling ito ay taus-pusong iniaalay ng Pivaw bilang tanda ng pasasalamat sa lahat ng sakripisyong inilaan ng ating mga veterano sa ating bansa. At gaya ng tema ng anibersaryo ng Pivaw, serbisyong maaasahan at mapagkalinga, iaalay sa gitna ng pagbangon sa pandemya. 
lahat ay nagkakaisa at sama-samang lumalaban sa gitna ng hamon ng pandemya. Gaya ng ating mga veterano noong nagdaang gera, tayo ay patuloy na titindig at buong tapang na magsisilbi para sa bayan. As shown in the ADP, the Philippine Veterans Affairs Office has indeed come a long way. It was no easy feat, but with the collective effort of every Pankat PIVOC member, the agency was able to achieve great accomplishments, all for the benefit of our Filipino veterans. So, it is only right that we give credit where credit is due. With that being said, we are now moving on to the presentation of the awardees, model and exemplary officials, and personnel. This year's exemplary employee is Ms. Julian M. Makasaid, Administrative Officer 2 of the Human Resource Development Division. For exceptional performance, unwavering dedication, and steadfast commitment in the service of the Philippine government and the Filipino veterans, Ms. Makasaid significantly contributed to the attainment of the goals and objectives of the Bivao Kagitingan Roadmap 2028. She provided technical inputs in the formulation of the agency's competency framework and is one of the technical staff involved in the crafting of the competency assessment reports of Bivao employees. As a registered psychometrician, she helped administer pre-employment psychological exams to applicants and provide accurate evaluation as part of the pre-employment assessment, a responsibility usually performed by higher-level staff. Despite holding an entry-level position of a salary grade 11, she was tapped to perform higher-level responsibilities as head of the recruitment unit. She developed the agency's recruitment monitoring database and used to monitor the end-to-end -end process of recruitment, job posting, to onboarding. She was also instrumental in the successful implementation of online examinations and virtual initial assessment of applicants. As an advocate of mental health and member of the PIVAL Mental Health Committee, she provided invaluable inputs for the crafting and implementation of the agency's mental health program. Being a trained professional in psychological first aid, she also provided free BFA sessions to employees, helping create a safe working environment and ensuring the well-being of personnel during the pandemic. The 2021 Model Employee Award is given to Ms. Maria Eloisa S. Santelices, Financial Claims Examiner 2 of the Claims Division. For exceptional performance, unwavering dedication, and steadfast commitment in the service of the Philippine government and the Filipino veterans, Ms. Santelices significantly contributed to the attainment of the goal and objectives of the Pibao Kagitingan Roadmap 2028. Her notable accomplishments include the provision of inputs for the crafting of Pibao Office Circular No. 2033 or the guidelines on processing and release of veterans' benefits for the certified legal beneficiaries of AFP KIA veterans. Said guidelines resulted in the streamlining of processes for claims of heirs of those uniformed personnel killed in action. She also established good working relationship with counterparts from AFP, paving the way to a more expeditious verification process of information regarding military services. As a dedicated Lincoln Bayan, Ms. Santelices also consistently displayed outstanding work performance and provided excellent service to the veteran clientele. She always worked the extra mile by readily accepting additional and higher level responsibilities. In addition to her regular tasks, Ms. Santelices was also designated as a member of the PIVAO vaccination team, ensuring the extension of needed assistance to PIVAO personnel veterans, and their dependents during the rollout of the COVID-19 vaccination program at the VMMC. 
She also served as a chairperson of the PVAO Employees Association Board of Directors. Next week presented is the 2021 Exemplary Supervisor Award. This year's Exemplary Supervisor is Attorney Alma Marie E. Cervito Cables, Attorney 4 of the Legal Affairs Division. For exceptional performance, unwavering dedication, and steadfast commitment in the service of the Philippine government and the Filipino veterans, Attorney Servito Cables significantly contributed to the attainment of the goals and objectives of the Pivao Kagitinan Roadmap 2028. She effectively and efficiently supervised and coordinated the enforcement and execution of laws and directed the overall legal works, rulings, opinions, MOA's decisions, evaluation of legal reports, and conduct of hearings pertaining to claims for benefits of the veterans and their legal families. She crafted policies and guidelines affecting the efficiency of the investigations of anti-fraud cases. Said policy guidelines clearly laid down fraud investigation procedures and all regulatory documents needed during the process, which ably guided investigators and other personnel in handling fraud-related cases. As chairperson of the PIVA Whistleblowing Policy Committee, she spearheaded the review and conceptualization of the revised Whistleblowing Policy of 2021. The revised version is highly lauded as the government has been more serious now in curbing graft and corruption practices in the public service. Said WB Policy highlighted, among others, the provision on the protection and rights of the whistleblower, including its rewards and recognition. As part of the VFB Contract Review and Negotiations Committee, she led the crafting of the initial guidelines for the lease of real estate properties in the VFB IC, which was adopted in the DND Department order for this purpose. Attorney Servito Cables is also a member of the joint VFB OSG DND Task Committee on PDB Undelivered Share of Stocks, which regularly reviews the task pertaining to PDB shares of stocks and various important committees. Next to be presented is this year's PVAL Model Supervisor Award. The 2021 PVAL Model Supervisor Award is given to Ms. Joanne Marie D. Homalesa, Senior Veterans Assistance Officer of the Claims Division. For exceptional performance, unwavering dedication, and steadfast commitment in the service of the Philippine government and the Filipino veterans, Ms. Humalesa's invaluable contributions and assistance in the approval of the 2021 and 2022 Veterans Wards projects in various DOH hospitals in Luzon and Visayas led to equitable access and widened the scope of services of the VMMC Veterans Wards in areas of high veterans density and qualified dependents. She is also instrumental in the construction of the Pilots Veterans Ward at the Northern Mindanao Medical Center and the Southern Philippines Medical Center. As a result, it has made further the availability and accessibility to medical care and hospitalization by our veteran clientele in Cagayan de Oro and Davao and nearby provinces. At the start of the COVID-19 pandemic, she initiated the facilitation of depositing of VHMCT reimbursement checks to pension accounts of claimants. The system provided the veteran clientele a safer, fast, and convenient access of receiving timely their checks during the pandemic. She also crafted various policies and guidelines affecting the efficiency and effectiveness of the educational benefits which ultimately benefited the veteran clientele and their families such as the revised issuance of awards for educational benefits, online electronic award, and submission of EV requirements for the processing of payment and reimbursement of school bills. She also submitted proposals for mental health program of the agency which addresses the mental health concerns of PIVAL personnel. She is also one of the prime movers in the conceptualization of the PIVAL Mental Health Awareness brochure. She received citations and certificates of appreciation as subject matter expert or lecturer for the conduct of webinars and or online training on psychological first aid, spotting symptoms of mental health issues, a guide to crisis intervention, 
and as volunteer psychologist at the Western Visaya Psychological Support. As head of educational benefits section of the Claims Division, she supervised the first virtual EB Recognition Rights 2020 for the newly awarded and outstanding PIVAL scholars via FB Live. Apart from her regular tasks, Ms. Humalesa is also a member of various important committees. Next to be presented is the Model Executive Award for 2021. The Model Executive Award is presented to Ms. Marichelle E. Estacio, MNSA, Chief of the Human Resource Development Division. For exceptional performance, unwavering dedication, and steadfast commitment in the service of the Philippine government and the Filipino veterans. She efficiently and effectively led the coordination and the implementation of initiatives for the shift from transactional to process-defined human resource management, resulting in the attainment and sustainment by PVAL of the prime HRM maturity level 2 from 2013 to 2021. The sustained efforts resulted in the conferment of the Prime HRM Bronze Award to the agency, an undoubtedly trailblazing achievement. She also spearheaded the implementation of the HR digital transformation, including, among others, the shift to online learning and development through the PVAO Alternative Learning System or PALS, and online webinars through the PVAO Employees Online Forum. Despite the pandemic, the agency was able to consistently exceed its targets on training, readiness, and capability development while generating considerable savings for the government amounting to 1,820,550 pesos in 2020 and 194,700 pesos in the first semester of 2021. The shift to online transactions and conduct of virtual activities guarantee the continued provision of services and effective implementation of HR policies. Ms. Estacio has imbibed and modeled the strategic role of human resources in the agency through exceptional people's initiatives, employee engagement activities, and other innovative HR programs that address current and future challenges. We would also like to give the Distinguished Service Award to Dr. Pilar D. Ebara, Medical Officer 5 and Chairperson of the Disability Rating Board. The Philippine Veterans Affairs Office presents the Distinguished Service Award to Pilar D. Ebara, Medical Officer 5 and Chairperson of the Disability Rating Board, for her committed service and unwavering support in leading the COVID-19 prevention efforts of EVAO. As head of the PIVAO COVID-19 Prevention Committee, Dr. Ibarra played a major role in the institutionalization of proper workplace policy guidelines on the management and prevention of COVID-19 in PIVAO. In terms of reporting and endorsement of procedures including return to work guidelines for PIVAO personnel, she lent invaluable assistance to continuously intensify PIVAL programs on COVID-19 pandemic management and prevention, not only to PIVAL personnel, but also to the Filipino veterans and their families. Exemplifying utmost dedication to duty and commitment to COVID-19 pandemic prevention, Dr. Ibarra has distinguished herself as a true public servant. Next to be presented is the Distinguished Achievement Award to Mr. Mario K. Blasabas, Veterans Assistance Officer 2 from the Field Service Extension Office of Bohol. The Philippine Veterans Affairs Office presents the Distinguished Achievement Award to Mario K. Blasabas, Veterans Assistance Officer 2, Divao FSCO Bohol for his remarkable achievement for being named as the CSC Pagasa Award Regional Winner Individual Category by the CSC Region 7 for the Honor Awards Program 2021. This agency recognizes that being a judge for the said award is considered an exceptional feat for public service. Mr. Basaba's special achievement and his initiatives reflect great credit upon himself for having demonstrated unwavering dedication and steadfast commitment in the service of the Philippine government and the Filipino veterans. Exemplifying utmost dedication to duty and commitment to serve better the veterans and their families, 
Mr. Blasabas has distinguished himself as a true public servant. Next to be presented is the Distinguished Achievement Award to the Legal Affairs Division for winning the Regional CSC Pagasa Award Group Category. The Philippine Veterans Affairs Office presents the Distinguished Achievement Award to the Legal Affairs Division for their remarkable achievement for being named as the CSC Pagasa Award Regional Winner Group Category by the CSC National Capital Region for the Honor Awards Program 2020. This agency recognizes that being adjudged for the said award is considered an exceptional feat for public servants. The Legal Affairs Division's special achievement and their initiatives reflect great credit upon themselves for having demonstrated unwavering dedication and steadfast commitment in the service of the Philippine government and the Filipino veterans exemplifying utmost dedication to duty and commitment to serve better the veterans and their families. The Legal Affairs Division has distinguished themselves as a true public servant. This plaque of merit award for the best field service extension office goes to Cagayan de Oro. For exceptional performance, best management practices and initiatives undertaken in the region by primarily forging partnerships and unifying the veterans' organizations and local government units in serving the Filipino veterans and their families, thereby contributing to the attainment of PIVAO's goals and objectives as laid out in the Kakitingan Roadmap 2028. Field Service Extension Office Cagayan de Oro has been adjudged Best FSEO of the Philippine Veterans Affairs Office. This Black Merit Award for the Best Shrine Unit goes to Palantang Memorial Cemetery National Shrine. Philippine Veterans Affairs Office Black of Merit Award for exceptional performance and best management practices in the preservation promotion, and memorialization of the heroic deeds of our Filipino veterans through the effective and efficient maintenance of the Balantang Memorial Cemetery National Shrine, thereby contributing to the attainment of the PIVAO's goals and objectives as laid out in the Kagitingan Roadmap 2028. Balantang Memorial Cemetery National Shrine has been adjudged Best Shrine Unit of the Philippine Veterans Affairs Office. Congratulations, awardees! This time around, let us have our special guest who has been actively involved and has shown unwavering commitment in lobbying for the rights and welfare of our Filipino veterans. Ladies and gentlemen, the Chairperson of the House Committee on Veterans Affairs and Welfare, Representative Geraldine Biroman. Magandang buhay po sa ating lahat. Ito po si Congresswoman Geraldine Roman ng unang distrito ng Bataan at Chairperson ng Committee on Veterans Affairs and Welfare ng mababang kupulungan ng Kongreso. Nais ko sanang parating ang aking tauspusong pagbati sa aking mga kaibigan, ang mga kawani na ating pamahalaan sa Philippine Veterans Affairs Office sa kanilang selebrasyon ng 75th anniversary. Isang special na pagbabati po kay General Carolina na mumuno po sa matala na panahon sa ating Philippine Veterans Affairs Office. Sama-sama po tayo magtrabaho para po paglingkuran di lamang po ang ating mga veterano kundi ang lahat ng mamamayang Pilipino. At ito ay isang bagay na aking kinararangal dahil sa gitna ng pandemya ay nagpakita ng gilas ang mga kawani po ng PIVAO at ng Veterans Memorial Medical Center. Sa taong ito ay sinaselebrate natin ng 75th anniversary ng PIVAO sa ilalim po ng temang uh, maaasahan at mapagkalingan sa bisyo alay sa paglaban sa pandemya At uh, inaasahan ko po na habang may pandemya at kahit tapos na po ang pandemya ay pagpapatuloy niyo po ang inyong taus-usong paglilingkod sa ating bansa. Mabuhay kayong lahat at happy 75th anniversary! Thank you very much, Representative Roman. 
At this juncture, let us have PIVAO Administrator Under Secretary Ernesto G. Carolina for his anniversary message and introduction of the guest of honor. Our guest of honor and speaker, our special guest, I wish to uh, especially mention Representative uh, Geraldine uh, Roman, the chairperson of the House Committee on Veterans Affairs and Welfare. Thank you, ma'am, for joining us today in this auspicious occasion. Our partners, our revered veterans, and of course, the celebrators, Pangkat Pibaw, ladies and gentlemen. A pleasant morning to all of us. Today, we are celebrating a monumental uh, milestone in the history of public service as we commemorate 75 years of dedicated service to the Filipino veterans community. This celebration not only marks the foundation day of uh, the Philippine Veterans Affairs Office or PIVAO, but also highlights the Filipino veterans who are the reason for being of this venerated institution. If not for the veterans' sacrifices and selfless service to the nation, we would not be called upon to pay back the debt of gratitude from a grateful nation and its people. As we celebrate today, our 75th anniversary, allow me to trace back our glorious history which started after the end of the Second World War. Immediately after uh, the liberation, the government realized the need to recognize the efforts of the Filipino war veterans who fought valiantly in defending our freedom and sovereignty. This led to the passing into law of Republic Act No. 65, creating the Philippine Veterans Board under the Department of National Defense, effective October 18, 1946. A foresighted law also provided for the Filipino Bill of Rights. The Philippine Veterans Board was tasked to administer the grant of uh, educational benefits, disability and death pensions, as well as veterans' preference in civil service examinations to uh, Filipino veterans. Hence, the Philippine Veterans Board, created on October 18, 1946, became the forerunner of what is now the Philippine Veterans Affairs Office. Since then, what would later evolve as the Philippine Veterans Affairs Office has been led by luminaries who laid down the core values that define us today. Patriotism, integrity, professionalism, and solidarity. Among the first eight chairmen of the board from 1946 to 1960 were P.O.P. Pedrosa, Colonel uh, Macario P. Peralta, who uh, became a senator later, and General Emilio Aguinaldo, the first president of the Republic. Chairman Hilario F. Hilario was the last before the Philippine Veterans Board was renamed Philippine Veterans Administration, with Margarito S. Toralba as the first administrator. To some, 75 is simply a number, but for us, it means much more, as this number implies the long years of our country has been committed in recognizing the importance and significance of those who laid their lives to defend our freedom and liberty, and acknowledging the sacrifices and selfless service of the Filipino veterans after the war ended in 1945. 
For 75 years, the Philippine Veterans Affairs Office have been at the forefront of serving the Filipino veterans, ensuring that they receive the benefits and recognition they rightly deserve. In the coming years, PIVAO will remain committed to its mission of advancing the veterans' welfare and propagating their stories of heroism and bravery as we continue to build an empowered Filipino veterans community that is a reliable partner in nation building. The current pandemic has indeed slowed down many aspects of our day-to-day -day life. But the passion and dedication of the men and women of the Philippine Veterans Affairs Office in performing their mission and pursuing their vision have not diminished. In the midst of the pandemic, the Philippine Veterans Affairs Office shall remain steadfast in providing unhampered service to our Filipino veterans, consistent with this year's anniversary theme, Servisyong Maasahan at Mapagkalinga, Iaalay sa Gitna ng Pagbangon sa Pandemia. With that backdrop, let me now proceed to my more pleasurable task of welcoming and introducing our guest of honor and speaker for this auspicious occasion. A veteran of uh, various military campaigns, a decorated soldier, a dedicated Lingkod Bayan, and a staunch supporter of veterans' welfare and well-being. The Secretary of National Defense, Secretary Delfin and Lorenzana. On behalf of the One Defense Team, I proudly join Pankat Pivao and the Filipino veterans community in celebrating the 75th anniversary of the Philippine Veterans Affairs Office. I approved changing PIVAO's anniversary from September 24, 1972 to October 18, 1946, which is the date of the passage of Republic Act No. 65 or the Filipino Veterans Bill of Rights. This was a landmark legislation as it granted educational, disability and other benefits to Filipino war veterans and their dependents. To administer these benefits, the Philippine Veterans Board was purposely created under the Department of National Defense. I commend you on this initiative that places a premium on the noble cause for which the PIVA was founded rather than the administrative creation of the agency itself. In doing so, we celebrate not only PIVAO's accomplishments, but also the institutions that shaped it into what it is today. This is also a way of paying tribute to those who laid the groundwork for its development. Over the years, PIVAO relentlessly advanced the best interests of Filipino veterans and showed the nation's gratitude for their services and sacrifices. Adapting well to change, PIVAO kept getting better and better. It delivers billions worth of pension and non-pension benefits to pensioners here and abroad. Its efficiency is aptly recognized by its ISO certification. Throughout the pandemic, PIVAO never once stopped its frontline operations and in fact, used online and virtual interventions to adapt. It shifted to a contactless pensioner validation process via email, Skype, and other online messaging platforms, improve its feedback gathering mechanism, and raise its client satisfaction. As this is the last anniversary I will be celebrating with you as the Secretary of National Defense, allow me to take this opportunity to thank you all for your hard work over the last five and a half years. My special thanks goes to Undersecretary Ernesto Carolina 
the PBAO administrator for his decisive and competent leadership, assisted by the PBAO Exicom. Kasama ko kayong lahat sa pagsusulong ng mga binipisyong suntok sa buwan, kagaya ng pagbabayad ng FVAC, paggawad ng Congressional Gold Medal mula sa Amerika para sa mga veterano ng World War II, hanggang sa pagbabayad ng TAD o TAD at iba pang arrears, pagdobli ng buwan ng pensyon para sa ating mga war veterans at iba pang reforma mula naman sa ating pamahalaan. Sa kabila ng hirap na ating dinanas, gusto kong bigyang diin na ang ating tagumpay para sa mga veterano at kanilang mga pamilya ay hindi nila utang na loob sa atin bagkus ito ay sukrin natin sa mga sakripisyon nila. I wish you continued success as you move forward in implementing your Kagitingan Roadmap 2028. Now ay patuloy kayong maging ehemplo ng mahusay mabilis, makabayan at marangal na paglilingkod bayan. It has been my absolute honor and pleasure not only to lead you as your SND, but more importantly for being a member of Pangkat Pivao. Muli ang aking taus-pusong pasasalamat at pagsaludo sa inyong lahat. Thank you very much, Secretary Lorenzana, for that message. Your full and consistent support to Bivao has been instrumental in achieving its goals and objectives. This time around, we would like to present the following plaque of appreciation to our special guest and guest of honor. This plaque of appreciation is presented to Representative Geraldine B. Roman. Representative of First District of Bataan and Chairperson of the House Committee on Veterans Affairs and Welfare for sharing her inspiring message as special guest during the celebration of the 75th founding anniversary of the Philippine Veterans Affairs Office. Given this 18th day of October 2021 at Pivao Compound, Camp General Emilio Aguinaldo, Quezon City, Philippines. Signed under Secretary Ernesto G. Carolina, Administrator. This plaque of appreciation is presented to Secretary Delfin N. Lorenzana, Department of National Defense, for sharing his inspiring message as guest of honor and speaker during the celebration of the 75th founding anniversary of the Philippine Veterans Affairs Office. Given this 18th day of October 2021 at Pivo Compound Camp General Emilio Aguinaldo, Quezon City, Philippines. Signed, Under Secretary Ernesto G. Carolina, Administrator. And that concludes our virtual celebration of the 75th PIVAO founding anniversary. We would like to thank everyone for sparing us a little of your time and joining us in this momentous occasion. Once again, I am Nico Oreiro. And I am Felicia Lois Lanya. We have been your hosts for today, wishing everyone a happy founding anniversary. And so, Pangkat PIVAO with pride and honor, let us all sing the PIVAO hymn.